There are so many things going on right now that are negatively impacting the mental health of, of kids. And I'm excited by the fact that Washburn exists. And as these things come up, that Washburn is here to help more kids and families navigate through, through this. Every donor I've spoken with has a personal connection to children's mental health and hearing them talk about the impact that mental health services has made in the, in the lives of children and their lives and the lives of neighbors' kids and the lives of the broader community has really been impactful to me. So that, that just need and awareness of people are feeling in a very tangible, real way the impact of the children's mental health crisis. The severity and complexity of the cases we're dealing with is, 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 is high. Like there are very difficult cases, kids are under care for much longer. The types of things that they're dealing with and the trauma that they're experiencing is, is more intense than we've seen at other points in time. So really having that overabundance of hope for these families until that can sort of kick in for them um, is so important. We really need to be hopeful that individuals and people with the right support really can make a difference in terms of their mental health. One of the things I'm so grateful for about Washburn and so proud of is the fact that you don't have to go to another organization. Like literally, if there's a need for additional services or a different this additional level of care, you can do a referral within the same organization, or you can even get case management services while you continue to see intensive at home, and it's all at Washburn with that same experience without having to go outside of that. So I think Washburn is uniquely suited for that with our expertise around trauma, with our expertise around being culturally responsive, and with the continuum of outpatient care that we offer. I think that has a unique impact. This is. Washburn's 140th year of existence, and that is a remarkable milestone for any organization, let alone a nonprofit organization that focused on children's mental health. So I think the fact that we're celebrating our 140th birthday speaks to the overall sustainability of Washburn. Now, having said that, it's not without its challenges. Our challenge right now is a challenge that's been with us for an extended period of time. The majority of our revenue comes from reimbursement rates, from basically the either government medical assistance programs or from commercial insurance. And those rates have been flat. The majority of those rates um, have been flat. They've not been updated for depending on the program five to 10 years. And you can think about the fact that even if you just look at the past three years of COVID, inflation during that time ranged from six to 10%, depending on kind of what index you were looking at that. So clearly, if those rates only covered 60 to 70% of our cost, and our cost have increased because the majority of our cost are labor cost, we're at a disadvantage with that and we really cannot do what we do without the support of donors. I mean, our donors have such a tremendous impact where every, every dollar has a huge impact on our ability to fulfill our mission and makes a difference for the kids and families. And I'm just so grateful to our donors for their support because without their support, we wouldn't be able to do what we do in terms of providing healing and hope uh, to the children and families in our community.